I have a favorite Czech composer, I think you put me in a very difficult position because um, I think there would be more than one. Oh my gosh. I have four children. You want me to choose which one's the most important child? Ah. I can't. But Dvořák is the most famous. But I, ha I think I have a special bond to Smetana and Janáček. My nejoblíbenějším českým skladatelem je Antonín Dvořák. V kontextu tohoto výročí mi je určitě nejbližší Bedřik Smetana. Of course, Wilta Wals is one of my favorite pieces, but this is not the only one. Of course, Dvořák is great. But in addition to it, I have a huge, very strong relationship to an almost forgotten Czech composer, Alois Haber. I think that the, the, the music of Dvořák very much formed me, so I think that was someone who really concretely had a impression, yeah. Well, I love Leoš Janáček. I think he's my favorite Czech composer. There is no doubt that is Janáček. I really love him. Dvořák. I th because it's so fantastic music. I'm becoming a bigger and bigger fan of somebody like Smetana Dvořák. I love so much, but my closest to my heart, Janáček. And of the contemporary ones, Martin Smolka. I'm very scared not to give a very original answer to that question. So I have to pick one, then it would be Dvořák. Reha is one, one of them, of course, but I, I love Janáček, I love Dvořák, and I think that Zelenka is one of the greatest composers of all times. Já bych jich řekl tolik, a když mám říct jenom jednoho... Když se chceš pomodlit, tak je to Dvořák, víš? Když chceš bojovat, tak je to Smetana. Když chceš milovat, tak je to Janáček. Když se chceš ztratit v partě, tak to je Martin. <laughs> um, I love Janáček. Leoš Janáček. Karel Husa. Dvořák in uh, Smetana. Leoš Janáček. Leoš Janáček. Martinu. Tak za mě asi Bohuslav Martinu. Janáček. A Milan Slavický. No, Milan Slavický. There is too much to choose from and I refuse to choose the favorite. I think for me the most important Czech composer is the Czech people. Because without the Czech people, without their speech, without their dances, without their movements, you wouldn't have Smetana, Dvořák, Martinu, Janáček, Sonka. You wouldn't have these people. It comes from the actual life of the place. Maybe it's something in the water in the Poltava. I don't know. <laughs>